But there you have it. I'm sure you can see this right here. So she's been sitting on it. She's actually right, yep, there she is. So about a month ago, we unboxed a boyfriend for my Velvet Spider Wednesday. I finally have an update for you guys today. Before we get into that, I wanted to unbox a couple packages from my P.O. box and also talk about my Gravid Jumping Spider. So let's just get right into it. First up, we have a shiny package. We're gonna open the shiny one first because it's shiny. Oh my goodness, are these little, oh my gosh, they're little jumping spider hides. Oh my God, this is literally the cutest thing. Oh my, nope, I stand corrected. This is actually the cutest thing. <laughs> we are Gummy House, a group of nerdy interior designers and graphic designers that are also hobbyists in this jumping spider community. Oh, it looks like they have an Instagram, Etsy website. Oh my God, look, they have magnets. This is amazing, thank you so much. So this one came all the way from Canada. Oh, it's just a pretty little box. Okay. Sam from Vancouver. Ah! <laughs> so cute. That's a jumping spider. Oh my goodness. I actually collect these mushrooms, so thank you so much for that. But oh my gosh, I love this. Thank you so much. Like, this makes my day. You guys are so freaking thoughtful. I can't even, I, I don't even know what to say. You guys are so great. Lady Jane's Co. Here we go. First of all, everything is black. Oh my gosh, what is this? Thank you for helping me conquer my fear of spiders. Hi Bowser and Mr. Tarantula Cat. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. That is so cool. Sailor Moon, I love Sailor Moon. <laughs> what is this? A mushroom. Oh wow, these are so cool. Look at the Barbie. This is going on my keys. And a spider web one. Resin art and crafts shop. I bet if you're good with resin, you can make a bunch of cool jumping spider stuff. One more package. All right, finally got this open. I'm a really small cosmetics company and your whole aesthetic matches the company. So here's a gift. What? Creepy Queen Cosmetics. Oh, I'm gonna have to hide these from Fiona. She's like the biggest makeup thief these days. Mothman. <laughs> Spider rings. Super cool. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. When you put your makeup on. I'm gonna get makeup all over it right now. You do it like this. Oh. That is legit. Thank you so much. Um, oh my God, okay. So I'm gonna take a second to like. So yeah, as I'm sure you guessed, I added about five Neon Danios in the tank with Gumbo, my crawfish. And I also added some ghost shrimp in there just as a test to see what would happen. I actually purchased the ghost shrimp for food for Bowser, but I just decided to throw like four or five in there just to see what would happen. And surprisingly, they are all still alive and doing fine. I've had all of the shrimp and the fish in there for about a month now, and I've had zero issues. None of them have disappeared. All five Danios are still 
still there. It's going good still. Gumbo is doing well. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit update on the angry crawfish uh, that I talked about a few months ago. That all said, another update I wanted to give you guys, of course. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember my Fittipus Regius adult female that was gravid. I was gifted at an expo recently, so she did lay her egg sac as I talked about, but check this out. We have babies and not just a few. There's actually quite a few in there and they're actually already dispersing. It's pretty crazy. I, I'd have, I've never really seen them disperse this quickly. There you go. You can really see it now. There are lots of babies and they're super little and mama is in here too. So she was actually out earlier. I managed to catch her out. It looked like she was a little thirsty. So I gave her a good mist. She really took a big drink and I'm actually going to feed her here. Um, I'm just going to drop a cricket in with her into this container. But yeah, Peach is doing good. I named her Peach. Um, I know we already have a Peaches, but I named her Peach because she's the peach color form and so she's doing well and her babies are doing great. I, I don't want to drop like a cricket in there that's going to bother her. So what I'm guessing is she'll probably get adventurous if she's hungry and I just put it in there and that way the cricket's not going to go bother those babies or anything like that. So I'm going to be really, really careful about raising these. I would like to eventually get more into vending. Uh, locally, at least for now, I don't really foresee myself shipping. I do want to raise these jumping spider babies up to like I-5 maybe, but yeah, hopefully all goes well. And and also I have Mr. Tarantula Cat here as my official new assistant, so full time, so he can help me with the jumping spider babies. You know, they're quite time demanding. I remember I did make this little habitat. I taped it up from the inside so that no babies can get out. And since then I've actually retaped it. I After the video I posted, I wasn't happy with how the tape looked. I just wanted to make sure no babies could get under it. So I redid the taping a little bit neater, took a lot more time doing it and then I also added this cool little plant thing on the back from Target I cut it down to fit. I could have probably done better, but yeah, I purchased a couple of these little plant things from Target. As you see, they have like the grid on the back and these are great for like jumping spider backgrounds, I thought. So yeah, I just added that just for, you know, to make it a little bit less bare. So of course, the last thing I wanted to talk about, the biggest news I have, I actually just discovered it this morning, so I was not planning on even like making this video. I unboxed a boyfriend, Albert, for Wednesday about a little over a month ago. Ever since the first couple nights he's disappeared and I have not seen him at all and velvety green and I have been trying to figure out where did he go did she eat him what happened I still have not seen him I don't know where he is last I checked he was trying to mate with her and he ended up going inside her nest if she ate him I feel like she would have kicked him out because she has like a graveyard of crickets that I've fed her and she kicks out the, the dead crickets after a while and she still hasn't kicked him out so I don't think she ate him I do feel like he's possibly still alive in there somewhere, just hiding really good, possibly under the wood where she hides. And that's why I haven't really done an update. I had somebody reach out to me. His name is Jeremy's Wild World. My name is Jeremy and this is Jeremy's Wild World. He actually is a content creator here on YouTube as well. He is in the UK and he successfully bred the same species as Wednesday and he laid it out for me after that video, which I thank you so much because unfortunately there's just not much information out there breeding this species at all. In fact, this is the first Gandana minnow egg sac here in the United States ever. And yes, I did say egg sac. There is an egg sac. And the, and, and the timeline is on par. It's like perfect because Jeremy told me that he paired his Gandana minnow the exact same way that they he had them cohabbed. After a few weeks, he actually found the male dead on the ground, not eaten or anything, but he was just dead on the ground. And then about a month later, she dropped her first sac. And then eventually she dropped a second sac on top of that. And when he checked on them, there were babies in it. So this all goes along the same timeline anyway I know I know you guys want to see and you're probably really excited too um I'm I'm not really able to get the best view ever and I just discovered this today okay so like literally just hours ago I discovered this and I'm so stoked I cannot believe it but there you have it I'm sure you can see this right here so she's been sitting on it she's actually right yep there she is she's sitting on it and it is an egg sac so that is what we have going on now a question I know I'm going to get asked and I know velvety green is probably gonna get asked so what is what am I gonna do with the babies half of them are going to her and she'll be probably keeping a lot of them for a communal. I'm also going to be keeping a lot of them for a communal. I'm going to do a big communal. Can you imagine like five or 10 Wednesdays in one of these? Can you imagine like, or one of these coffin enclosures? Can you imagine like 
a bunch of Wednesdays in one of these. So yes, I will be keeping um, probably <laughs> A lot of them for a communal because I'm going to want to keep Wednesday's babies. I've had Wednesday for a long time. Velvet spiders live longer than jumping spiders, but not the longest living animals ever, unfortunately. So yeah, it's going to be really important for me to keep some of her babies and to actually have a communal. And I can film the communal from literally egg sac, from literally mother egg sac to like, uh, it's really just... Oh my god, that will be so fun to document and, and keep and grow out. I'm just thrilled for this. <laughs> will I be selling some of the babies? Yes, as long as there's like a decent amount. Of course, Jeremy said he got a couple egg sacs, so I'm hoping that will be the same case for us. I will be selling some, vending them locally in St. Louis at the Show Me Reptile shows or the St. Louis Reptile Expo, uh, maybe even NARBC here. So yes, they will, they will, some of them will be for sale, but unfortunately I'm not shipping and it's all gonna be local, at least on my end. Also, yes, this is the first egg sack, the first Gandana Minnow Velvet Spider egg sack in the US. I beat you, Tom Patterson, and I know you're jealous because you sent me this message and I just, I want you to know I won the race, but but of course we, we still don't have babies, so there's time, my friend. I guess there's time. Hopefully uh, everything goes well for both of us, honestly. <laughs> I think that'd be good for the hobby in general if we're both successful at it. I just hope I'm, I'm you know, more successful at it first. So that is all I had to say. Um, that's all I have to update for now. Of course, once there's babies like emerging or something, you'll be among some of the first to know. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram video. It's probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet pick.